Today, we're gonna to run through how you can sign up with Business Manager, so you can manage all of these assets, including your ad account. The next thing that we want to do is log into our Business Manager. So our Business Manager is the home that houses all of our assets. So our new Facebook page, as well as our ad account, which we're going to build, are all going to live within our Business Manager, and we can manage them from there. So now that we have our Facebook page set up, I'm going to go log into the business manager. Um, so if you haven't created a business manager before associated with your profile, this is probably the page that you're going to see that's on my screen now. Um, so you can see the URL up here at the very top is business.facebook.com. Now the idea is that we log in and I'll be able to log in using my Facebook profile. So it says log in with Facebook. I might have to enter my password in again. No, I don't, and that's just fine. So we've got several business managers here under our manager account. I'm actually gonna go into my fake one here, which is called Connor's Coins. So this was another fake business that we set up at some point to help um, run through an example of how to set up an ad account. So this is our business home, and from here you can see I have an ad account and I actually have a page. Uh, so what I'm going to do is run you through how you can integrate your page and create a new ad account for that page within your business manager. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to business tools up here in the top left and go to business settings, which is this cog icon here. Depending on how you're viewing your screen, you might see it down on the left here with the cog icon still, or you can pop out this little hamburger menu item here and go to business settings. This is gonna lay out all of our different options within our business manager. So we have our users, the accounts that we can manage, data sources, brand safety, registrations, integrations, and everything else you can think of. Now the first thing we're going to do is integrate that Facebook page that we've just created. So within our people here, because I've logged in using my Facebook account, it's got Connor Brown and that's the email address that I've accessed my business manager through. And you can see these are the assigned assets, so the already existing ad account and page that I have assigned to my profile. What we're going to do is we're going to add another asset, that new Facebook page, to my profile. We're gonna go down to accounts and then to pages. From pages here, we already have one, and we're gonna go find my Connor test page and add it to my business manager. So there's a big blue button here that says add, I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm gonna go add a page. So this is gonna ask for the Facebook page name or the page URL. I'm going to type in Connor Test. Beautiful, that's the first one that comes up. Advertising and marketing. I'm gonna click on that one, and I'm going to add the page. So this is gonna add it to my business manager, and there we go. We can see I have Connor's Curios now, and Connor Test, which is the page that we're gonna use throughout this series. Um, under users here, we're gonna go back to people just to make sure that I have that new page added to my profile. So at the moment here we can see I've still only got Connor's Curios. So the Connor Test page is within my business manager, but not yet attached to my profile. So I'm going to click on Add Assets, and then I'm going to select that Connor Test page, scroll down, give myself permission to manage the page, and then save it. That just means that whenever I'm working within the business manager, I can access and do whatever I want with that page. We can now see both of those pages there and the one ad account for Connors Curios. The next step, once we've finalized and made our Facebook page pretty, is we probably want to run ads. 